how's everybody doing today? I put one of them uh, messages on the YouTube and kind of send it over to link to get, for you to get to it over to uh, Facebook. Hey, it's a bright sunshiny day here in Alabama. We're about the uh, old thermometer says uh, 46 degrees outside, but it's warm in here and I'm watching squirrels and birds and We'll probably get some videos of them. Probably rather see them anyway. <laughs> yeah, just uh, think about what I might talk to you a minute about. Uh, Dallas, I'm glad to have you in the Facebook. And I looked at some of your pictures that you had in Facebook and they to blue. I look like I see my Uncle Sam all over again. I meant that as a real compliment. Of course, everybody knows that would be so. He's one of my favorite people of all times. And I thought today, for your information and anybody else that wants to hear it, uh, I remember times that me and Ernest had go up to his farm. He had 40 acres and two mules, and I think he had a one-eyed black dog. I don't remember, John Rowdy or something like that. But uh, it was a lot of fun going to the country because we lived in town pretty much, but had the best two worlds, I reckon. But anyway, I remember, uh, well, I remember several things. I see if we can hit some highlights. I always liked to help him when he hauled hay or anything like that. And he'd let me take all the reins, of course, the mule knew, knew where the heck's going anyway. And uh, well, I was a big cowboy or something, I reckon. I thought it was. But that was a lot of fun. And I know one night it, about getting the hay in, and we, uh, I was going to go in the cow pond, old muddy cow pond. Boy, that felt good to get in that coon pond after all that hay seed and grass on you and stuff. But uh, anyway, he said, now, it won't be long before supper will be ready for dark or be here, but we'll go before supper. So anyway, we got there, and he got out off the wagon. He said, now, you wait and let me take the wagon into the, into the barn. Okay. Well, being an impatient youngster, I was here. He is too soft for me, so uh, as soon as he got that gate open, I, I laid them reins on the view's back, and in they went and jammed in between the posts. You had to go straight in, and that wagon was, was jammed in there. And so uh, He had a saying that he told me over and over. You know how a little 9, 10-year-old gets kind of excited once in a while. He, I don't know why he called me Sarge, but he said, Sarge, don't ever get excited. Now we got to do this wagon. So, anyway, I'll catch you later. Somebody hollering for me. Maybe I'll cut this part out. And... All right. Let's see if I can remember where I was. Oh, yeah. Anyway. All right. I'd, I'd go to try and sneak off, and he had to get kerosene lantern and crowbars. Really hard work on doing it. And he said, Where are you going, boy? I said, Well, no, you're not going anywhere. We just swagging on him. <laughs> How many times have I got to tell you, don't get excited? Well, anyway. We didn't get to go in the cow pond. We did, we did some supper, ain't Dottie Well, that was one of the more interesting times. And I remember another time we were, uh, he was going to break in two young mules for a neighbor of his. And had them hooked to a wagon, his flat wagon, and he had the seed and fertilizer on it. These young mules, I'd done. Uh, you know, when I get ready for more seed, uh, you bring the wagon over to the planter and I'll fill up the seed and the fertilizer and then you can wait for it. Get, I want to get another load. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, no side, like I say, no sides on the wagon. I was laying on the belly on the edge of the wagon just looking off in space and all of a sudden there's a jackrabbit run across between them mule's legs and they took off and started running. Well, I had never considered Uncle Sam to be very fast moving, but 
actually saw him run that time. Well, he, he came over there and it's like watching a western or something. He, he jumped up on the tongue of that wagon between the views. I thought, oh boy, this is going to be over. Not. He whooped those mules and took them all. I was on the edge of the wagon, on my belly, holding on the edge of the wagon, bouncing, head banging against the wagon and stuff. Uh, finally, they, he got them. He said, they won't give you no more trouble. Just, just remember to tie the reins up, Sarge. Okay, I tried to remember that from now. Oh, yeah, just, just one more thing I want to tell you all about. Uh, I thought, I don't know how old he was. I think I was 9, 10. He might have been in his late 20s. I'm not really sure. But anyway, he'd, he'd take us to, to see a double feature western in Lebanon. And going into big town and see a good western. And we'd get in there and they'd have one of those barroom brawls. Tearing it up. And he'd, he'd talk to him and say, look out, he's behind you. Yeah, get in there with him. And he'd just talk man, this is great. Here's an adult who knows how to have fun. <laughs> and he was a lot of fun. I, I could tell a lot more, but I'm going to save them for later. And I hope y'all doing all right and everything. Just my daily yapping for today. And talk to you later. Bye-bye.